welcome back to Gallipoli, my friends. We have five turns left, guys, to take every single one of these strategic locations. We've taken, of course, Biuk Antar. Uh, we've taken a location down here, Carithia. But we still have to take Maidos, and we still have to take Kojader. I am going for Maidos as soon as possible, but as you can see, a lot of our units have already moved this turn or attacked last turn, etc. So some of these guys are going to be a little late to the battlefield. Um... But that's kind of just the way things are in this particular fight, especially. Uh, we're actually going to move this unit out of the mountain range. We've discovered that trying to fight from the mountain range just doesn't work. Uh, we also have a city over here. So I think I want to move the artillery a bit closer. Put it over here in the woods so that it can start targeting that area. Let's grab the New Zealand Infantry Brigade and attack. Unfortunately, the enemy has heavily defended this area. But we're going to have to do everything we can to try to break through. This is World War I, uh, you know, the era of trench warfare. So we're definitely used to a lot of uh, casualties for a very small gain. Unfortunately, that's the situation we have to accept for ourselves. Uh, I'm going to move the general out of the way so we can get this infantry there a little bit faster. We've got a bunch of different units here. Australian light horse, uh, including quite a lot of um, French units, in fact. So that's quite interesting. I'll drop the French over here. And let's drop them off as quickly as possible here. It's French artillery. I don't think it's going to arrive in time, but just in case it does, we'll bring it. And we'll also move our generals up so that these units are getting some supplies. C'est très joli. All right. I think that's it. We'll end the turn, guys. We're turning it over to the Turks. Uh, let's hope for the best. So as you can see, they have a lot of reinforcements they brought in here, and the battle has been bloody all throughout, but I think they're going to try to do a counterattack uh, because we hold quite a lot of cities. I'm not sure that means we necessarily win, um, but I think they're going to want to take them back. So there we go, a massive attack on our infantry. They completely wiped out one of our infantry brigades, although they did lose some men right there. We've got four turns remaining. And the Lancashire Brigade was destroyed. That's one of our British brigades. So uh, there are English troops here. You know, a lot of people think it was just Australian troops um, on uh, in Gallipoli. It wasn't just Australian troops. It was also uh, New Zealand troops, French troops, British troops. But of course, the Australians took the real brunt of the uh, of the action. So we could attack here, and I think that's probably the best thing to do. Nice. Our artillery softened them up just a little bit. And I'm actually going to take this unit, the Australian Brigade, and I'm going to attack their artillery unit. Uh, as you can see, it's pretty tough to defend an arty unit, so they're not going to be able to defend their remaining guys as well. It's going to be a little easier for us to break through. So let's do that. We're also going to move these infantry units forward. As for this guy, I'm going to see if we can't get some reinforcements uh, from the mainland. Nine points. Wonderful. So everybody wants to fight. Bring them to the fight. Come on, boys. Let's go. We'll actually allow these guys to cross the mountains. These guys have to get on the road, though. I don't think they're going to make it in time, but just in case they do. Uh, and I want to focus here on uh, Tiski Ibir, but I think the most important thing is Maidos. Taking Maidos would be huge. So that's an enemy headquarter unit, and there might be a general here. Yes, this is Esat Pasha. Um, so, the, of course, Esat Pasha is a nasty general. Um, we're definitely up against the best, and there's not many ways to attack here. We need to get some units over here on this road and come in from the north, as you guys can see. So I'm going to try. I'm not sure if we can do it in time, uh, but we're going to do our absolute best. I'm also going to bring some reinforcements if I can to the French. Unfortunately, we can't, so they're going to have to join our attack here on Torahim, or Ibrahim, excuse me. It's hard to see the names with the uh, units in the way there. Nice. The Turks are doing stellar defensive work, though. It's really hard to break through. And let's fire. Artillery time. Again, I turned the sound off, guys, because uh, this game is quite loud, um, and I didn't want it to interfere with the, uh, the actual mic. But um, if you guys purchase the game, the sound is wonderful. Great musical score as well as really, really good battle sounds, artillery, etc. As you can see, this, this artillery piece has so many shells. We've brought down the garrison here, the regiment, uh, quite a bit. And actually, we can fire with our French artillery as well. Fire away, boys. We have four shells left, my goodness. But we should really be using these at Maidos. Um, unfortunately, it's going to take a turn or two to get into the vicinity of Maidos. We do have this unit. But he can't move. I don't know why he can't move to Kojadar here. It's possible the enemy put some sort of blockage here. 
Uh, but we definitely can't get past that area. All right, I think we end the turn. Three turns remaining. Uh, every second counts. It's raining now uh, in the region. All right, let's see what we can do. Let's go for Maidos, of course. But first, let's get rid of this roadblock. I don't care if it's the weakest link units that are doing the attack. In fact, I prefer that because I want our stronger units uh, ready for the attack on Midos. Unfortunately, I think we've got to send in some much stronger units. And sure enough, there we go. Now, this location, I don't think it's worth much. It's worth like six points, which is not going to make a difference. And once again, our French unit is going to have to move up through Kildbar. Uh, all the way to Midos, and some of these units are going to have to break across the north, and I, I don't even think they're going to be able to in time. What about this guy? Can we get him some reinforcements? No, we can't. Let's move him back. Oh, we can't move him back! Man, the way the Turks have set this up. We're going to have to move him forward, even closer to the enemy, to even get an attack. And let's try to get our artillery as close as possible. I still think we're out of range, but maybe we can get these guys in range uh, right there at the end. General, move. What is wrong with you? Your Lomazon is waiting. All right, I'm definitely going to go for another attack on the artillery here. Eh, it's mildly effective. Uh, I'm going to try to break across here. And let's go for Maidos. We should have softened up with Artie first. As you can see, they're just basically switching units out at Midos. They're taking out their weakened units. They're putting stronger units in, etc. Uh, that's going to make it a lot harder to break through. Let's get these guys back. They need reinforcements. Of course, we're going to have to wait a turn for reinforcements. In the meantime, though, we can move these guys here. Attack. And we'll grab the Australian Light Horse. They've done a lot of good during this fight. And sure enough, look at that. Bringing 9 down to 6. The Australian Light Horse is an extremely good unit. We'll bring this Australian Brigade here to attack this regiment. And sure enough, we did some damage, but we took way too much. Way more than we should have. Uh, and I think we end the turn. It's getting really scary here, guys. I don't know who's going to win. Two turns remaining, guys. Two turns remaining. And once again, they switched out their unit here at Mythos. Um, reinforce this unit. We can get them only one point. That's honestly not even worth it. Um, I think we're just going to attack. So let's fire our artillery first. And we might not have any artillery to fire. I think we should have two shells, though. Yep, sure enough, we do. Fired one shell, fired two. Even if you don't see any dead units there, you still should fire because you are causing panic amongst the lines. Um, you know, we could startle them quite a bit. So I'm going to move forward here, and I'm actually going to target this unit. We've got to hit the defensive artillery again. I should have remembered that. And... Come on, boys. Make us proud. Take a look here at our Frenchman. And now we can move to Cojadere. It was really weird why we couldn't just move right up there immediately. We had to wait a few turns. And Maidos is here. And the thing is, like, I'm annoyed that we can't take Maidos immediately because this is an HQ unit. HQ units are not supposed to be very good at defending themselves. So I'm hoping pretty soon here we get lucky and get a really, really devastating attack on them. But so far, they're doing a really good job at fighting back. And I think that's partially because this is, of course, Esat Basha. Um, and this is a Turkish general that will not give up without a fight. I'm going to attack again. We got him down to five. Maybe we can take that city. Maybe. Big maybe. Um, by the end, we'll have to wait and see. We've got our artillery right up there. I don't see why we shouldn't be able to. And that would really help us out, guys. I'm also going to bring in reinforcements. Even though this is the last turn, it's the right thing to do. Max out some reinforcements here. 
and make sure that these guys uh, get some green green units in their prospective brigades. It's Max. And I think we can end the turn there. Yep, we're definitely not going to be taking any of the towns up here. I think it's very unlikely. But we could still take this area here. Uh, and that might, uh, Maidos, that might help us. So we'll have to wait and see. Bulga, I think, is going to remain in enemy hands. As you can see, once again, they reinforced it. They just don't want to lose that area no matter what happens. Defensive artillery, nice! Unfortunately, they still managed to waste that unit. One turn remaining. Uh, First Australian Brigade destroyed in the 127th Manchester. Well, they fought bravely. Let's attack. Come on, we gotta take this area. I believe in you guys. There we go, guys. Beautiful. My dos is ours under British control. And I don't think there's much we can do except maybe fire at the enemy artillery here. Try to damage it and go for a last attack on uh, Bogali. So as you can see, I'm just trying to do everything I can to damage that enemy arty. And there's not much we can do. Um, so now, waste those shells. Hey, one of them got through and actually damaged the enemy. That's good. And we're going to do everything we can to take Bogali. So just everybody attack. Full attack, boys! Over the trench! This is the worst part of World War I because these guys are going to get machine gun as they're approaching the city. But they're still going to try to break through. That's the important thing. We got them down to six. We did pretty well, but just not enough to break them out. And actually, we got them down to four, so we were so close. So close. And the turn. Okay, zero turns remaining. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That might mean we have a chance to take Bogali, but they reinforced it, of course. <laughs> oh, man. Why? Yeah, they reinforced it. Unbelievable. Yeah, I think we're gonna, we're gonna stop there. We're not gonna cause our men any more undue casualties. There's no point. We're just losing men. These men could make it back to their families. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and end it there and hope that we have enough points to win. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. And it's a stalemate. Pretty interesting. So we got a better um, outcome than the actual Battle of Gallipoli, which was a major defeat for the UK. Um, so I think that we actually came out okay. We held enough land where basically we could probably keep bringing in reinforcements in that area in the future. Uh, or maybe the high command will decide it's just not an important enough area and we leave. But we did manage to take some cities there, um, and that did not happen during Gallipoli. You know, basically, the units were stuck on the beach the entire time. We definitely made it past the beach. So let me know what you guys thought about this series in the comments down below. Also, make sure to always support the channel by liking, subscribing if you're new, um, and sharing our videos. And um, let me know what you'd like to see in the future if you'd like to see some more Strategic Command World War One. We have everything from the Russian Civil War um, to an, any fight you could imagine in World War I. Um, so just let me know what you'd like to see and maybe we'll do that next time. Thanks again for watching guys. Take care and have a great, great holiday.